you've modeled all your parts and now you want to 3D print them so you can see if they fit together. So the first thing you do, bring up a part, right? Um, so you have to do this for each of the parts you want to 3D print, right? Um, and there's some general guidelines to help you do uh, 3D printing better. Your wall thickness should be about 0.125 or three millimeters, um, 0.125 inches. Um, and then you should also, you know, if you have parts fitting together, like this is a vacuum adapter, so there's a sleeve that goes over this that uh, attaches to the vacuum, you want to leave what's called clearance, uh, which is a blank space between the two parts, and usually about 20 thousandths of an inch or half a millimeter is a good uh, place to start uh, with most um, 3D printer machines. Um, that use PLA. All right, so we're talking about FDM, Fused Deposition Modeling, which is the type we have in our lab here. Um, and so it's super easy once you have your part, right? You're going to go File, you're going to go Export, and you're going to say CAD Format. And then you're going to change the type to STL, Stereo Lithography File, which is for 3D printing file. Um, but before you hit Save, you're going to hit Options, right? And make sure that this says high resolution, otherwise your curves will have facets in them um, from the polygons not being made small enough. Um, and then you're not going to change this. The default is millimeters, but if it doesn't say millimeters, you should totally fix that um, because our 3D printers uh, works in metric. All right, so millimeter high. Okay, you just have to change that once per computer. It keeps it. Um, and then you're going to save it. Now, if you just save it, it's going to save to your base directory that you're modeling in in Inventor. That is not what we want, right? So we would need to get it onto a flash drive so you can bring it to me, right? And we can run it through the sli slicer together. So you're going to go to, so you're going to click up top here, right? Basic Windows File Management, hit USB drive, whatever yours is called. Right, and then now you can save it. So I have my adapter, comma, vacuum it is a STL. I'm going to hit save. And then you do that for all the rest of your parts. When you're done, right, um, click this little up arrow, right click this icon uh, to eject the 3D uh, or your, eject your uh, flash drive. And you can bring that over to me and we will work on getting it 3D printed together.